Hey there, so I'm going to be showing you all of the 19 data cards locations in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Please note that timestamps are available in this video, so feel free to skip to the locations if you're looking for a specific data card. And with that said, let's start off with number 1 on the planet Kifber. This one is actually pretty easy to find. Simply walk all the way through the middle of the map after you spawn and immediately turn left afterwards to see a heart and all you need to do is head behind the heart and that is where you'll find the data card on Cave Burr. Next up, Yavin 4. This data card is also another pretty simple one. You simply need to head into the temple and in the middle, you'll find this grappling point. Use a grappling character to get all the way up there and soon you will be met with the data card in the middle. Now let's hop over to Hoth Right at this point of the map, there will be a grappling point for you to hook up to. Simply go all the way to the ceiling light section and grapple all the way until you've reached the data card in the middle. Next up for Bespin the Cloud City, the data card in this map is actually pretty simple to get. Just head all the way to this side of the map here on the lowest ground floor and you'll be met with a breakable wall. Switch over to a scavenger character to break this wall with the breaker blaster and now switch back to a grappling character as you need to jump and hang around this side first, take a look onto the opposite side after and double jump to hook onto the other side. This will net you with the data cut in Bespin. Now let's go over to the Endor data cut next. Head over to the right after you spawn and you'll see these huge trees. Drop down to the bottom of this tree platform and you'll see a sealed door on the tree itself. Run to the right side of the door and simply shoot the target that is hanging on the opposite side. Once done, the door will be open and you'll be able to grab that data card. Next up, the Jakku data card. Very simple as well. Just run towards north after you spawn and eventually you'll see a grey structure on the left side. Simply jump into the middle of said structure and congrats, you found the data card in Jakku. Next up, let's talk about the data card in Kashyyyk. Simply head to the place where you will start the main mission but instead of going to the mission, turn behind and turn left into the opening. After you reach outside the balcony, turn left again jump across this opening and you will get the data card of Kashyyyk. Alright, let's head to another easy one which is in Dagobah. This one is pretty simple, just head to the bottom right side of the map and you will see the data card floating up there. Simply choose a grappling character, grab all the way up there and the card is now yours. Alright, for the next data card, let's head on to Cantonica. Now, this one is a little bit tricky if you don't know how to go, but this is the exact spot you can start to get the data card. Simply follow where I'm going right now. And in that specific spot, you will see a grappling point on the top side. Simply grab onto it, follow all the way, building to building while grappling from one to another, and your reward will be the data card in the end. Now the next data card where we're gonna aim for is the one in Takodana and this is actually pretty simple. All you need to do is after spawning, simply turn behind and run until you see the woman fishing on the edge of the river. You will see a pillar right there so grab onto it and there will be a button for you to press which allows the data card to spawn up from the river in a treasure box. Next up, let's find the data card all the way in the Exago planet. All you need to do is simply run to the moving platform in the front to bring you down underground. A little bit further more in the underground, go ahead behind and jump on this route to climb up. Swing a little bit until you get the jump prompt and after jumping on the pole, simply walk all the way to the data card. So next up, let's head over to Kryde for the data card. On the spawn point, run directly to the front end. Keep on going until you saw a grabber point on the right side. Grab onto it and continue the path until you see floating platforms. But before you go there, remember to switch back to grappling characters first and keep on traversing the path of the floating platforms until you see the grabber point on the opposite side like this. All you need to do now is to just double jump and spam the grabber button. Hopefully you got that right and you now are rewarded with the cried data card. 
Next up, let's move over to Mustafar's data card. Now on this one point, keep going straight on the right platform until you've reached this set of staircase. Now what you need to do is to turn left and then turn left again and then simply jump on that box. You will see a gravel point on the opposite pillar. Grab it that and the data card is actually on the opposite side. Now next up, let's head over to Tatooine, specifically the Junlin Waste. Now this one is a little bit tricky so pay attention. Just keep going north from the spawn point and you will see a hill and a grapple. Halfway through the grappling, you will see an opening to jump onto the place above. This is actually really easy to miss. Just jump onto the opening and walk a little bit more behind and you'll get the data card. Now the next one is also on Tatooine but on the map most easily. Just head over to this part of the map here and you can literally see the data card just up there. So how you get up there is you gotta head to the left and smash the boxes just enough so you can jump up. Specifically keep the box on the right. Jump onto the bouncing canopy after that on your way and time your second jump after the bounce. And you should get the data card if done right. Now this is the third and final area of Tatooine which is on Mos Espa. This one is literally the one of the easiest one. Head over to the top left side of the map. Which means from the spawn point you have to hug the wall on the right until you've reached this part of the building. You will see those stairs so jump on it and then get behind the house. The data card will be literally sitting right inside this doorway but I already got it that is why it's not here. Alright now let's head over to the planet Coruscant and let's start with the Federal District data card. On the map we're gonna go all the way to the top left side here which means that you'll be meeting this vent on the floor. Simply jump through it and run all the way to the front until you see two of these buttons. It's pretty simple just take two characters and stand on each of the button and the door will open with the data card now on your hands. Now let's head over to the next district of Coruscant which is the Uskru district. This one is very simple once you come out from the spawn point Stick to the left wall all the way until you reach this side railing. It will opt you to jump on it, so you can just simply jump on it and jump on to the opposite side as well. Simply just head behind and you will see the data card just right behind there. Now the final one, let's head to the planet Geonosis. This is sort of a tricky one so you may want to pay attention as well. Head over to this left part side of the cliff in this map and use a scavenger net to net it so you can climb onto the cliff. After that, use someone with the force to bring this stick all the way to the wall. After the stick is planted there, you just need to swing it over, pretty easy, and then run across the wall just a few meters after that. Now here comes the tricky part, make sure your character is a grappler and simply just double jump as far as you can and then spam the grappling button. If you fail, you have to start all over again. But if you did, climb all the way up and finally grab your hard earned prize. So that is all of the 19 data cards in this game and now you can finally buy some crazy upgrades like the stars multiplier. And speaking of stars, head over to this video on the left right here and learn all of the best stars farming spots in the game right now so you can earn millions and billions of stars. Or you can head over to the video on the right as you may enjoy it as much as I did in making them. This is the Viperian signing off, thanks for watching and as always, stay awesome.